What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be doing two gyms right here, and that's the Saffron City gyms. One is the Fighting Dojo, and the other one, you know, Saffron City gym, psychic type Pokemon and all that cred, because, well, you know, we got to. Anywho, in our last episode, we went through the Silph Co, defeated everybody, and managed to save Silph Co from utter demise. Yes. A new word, demise. And uh, yeah, we defeated Team Rocket, got him out of there, and now we got ourselves a Master Ball. So what we're going to be doing here, guys, is we're going to be going straight to the Fighting Dojo first. And we switched out a few Pokemon on our team just to get ready for this whole situation. Of course, one of them being, uh, we put in Smoke, and we gave it the experience here because it could come in handy going into the Fighting Dojo. Since, you know, these Pokemon trainers are all physical trainers and whatnot, so... Wah! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. Hmm. In our fighting dojo. So here we go, taking on Black Belt Hitoshi. And he's coming out with his macho or machop right here. Three book one that I'm going to be using for this one is obviously Ultra, Psy Ultra Psycho, Tornado, and and uh, Smoke. Smoke being the ghost type Pokemon. Any fighting type Pokemon who tries to hit it physically. Is going to is going to is not going to like it. I think the best way to hit a, a ghost type Pokemon for a fighting type Pokemon it would have to be Forest Sight combination, and I have yet to see that happen. So here we go, Fly Attack, and here comes the Fury Swipes. Yeah, not so Fury right there, and look at us, Fly Attack for the win. That's how you do it. Alrighty, okay, and more points for all of us. And here comes Primeape. Let's go ahead and use Smoke. I want to use Smoke. I want to see what Smoke can do right here. Look at that Smoke. Looking uh, very smoky. And let's go with a Confuse Ray. Alrighty. Yes. Using a Coast type Pokemon is so awesome. Hardly use them. And here comes a Confuse. And that right there will hurt it. And let's go ahead and use Curse Attack right here. As many of you guys already know, for Ghost-type Pokemon, this means that it will take half its HP and curse the Pokemon, the opposing Pokemon. And thankfully for us, yeah, this uh, Primeape is only a physical Pokemon, physical attacker, so it won't do anything. And the Curse Attack has already taken its effect, so let's go ahead and give a Hyper Potion to Smoke right here. Yeah, let's go. And Focus Energy is not going to do much. And yes, you are being afflicted by the, uh, the the curse attack. Let's go, Shadow Punch for the win. Oh uh, yes, the best way is still going by a Shadow Punch right there. So there you go. Get ourselves some more points. And look at that. Smoke grows to level 28. And Hitoshi has been defeated. He's like, oof, I give up. Okay, alrighty. And well, who's next? Just like Goldberg said, I hear you good. Show me. Okay. Two. Let's see what we got right here. We're going to be taking on Hideki, and he's coming out with his matchup. All right, Ultra Psycho, do your thing. Let's go Psychic Attack right here. And uh, that right there just gives him nightmares. Wherever you see, it's just nightmares, guys. And, well, look at that. We're getting points. Smoke is getting points. Let's go with a good old Smoke again. I kind of want to try this. Now... Pokemon such as Machop and Machoke, they do have Foresight. That actually enables a Fighting-type Pokemon to physically hit a Ghost-type Pokemon. So, if that actually happens, you guys got to beat this uh, the Fighting Pokemon real quick. And, well, we're going to go with a Confuse Ray. That right there is Confusion. And, well, let's see. And, look at this. He's using Foresight, as expected. So, let's go with a Shadow Punch. And there we go. Shadow Punch doesn't do much. And it snapped out of confusion. And here comes its revenge. As you guys can see, it's not very effective. But now it can actually hit us because, well, it uses Foresight. And we're going to use Nightshade right here. That takes a little bit. And here comes Seismic Toss. Holy buckets. This one doesn't really take much because, of course, I don't think Gengar weighs that much. I really don't. And here comes Karate Chop. Look at this. It's finally hitting us. It's not very effective. Alright, Shadow Bunch. 
Look at this. Yeah, we're punching ourselves, and not so effective, but here comes a revenge. This takes a not so much. Okay, so let's go with Nightshade, of course. That equals it's a the opponent's level right there, so it should be enough. And no! Holy crud. Okay, so we're fighting to the very end right here. Nightshade for the win. And just like that, Machoke has been defeated. Smoke gets some points. And Hideki is like, Judge, one point! So you guys, there you go. You you see what happens when Foresight is being used. Fighting type Pokemon now had to have an advantage. So there we go. Smoke gets some points back. And now we got two more people before we take on the final master. Yeah! I have no fear for anything tough. I shatter boulders for training every day. Every single day. Alrighty, so here we go, digging on Aaron. And he is coming out with his primate. And I think we're safe right here with a psychic attack. And just like that, psychic does its thing. Say goodbye to primate. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, okay. And that's some good points right there. And we have defeated a Aaron. And he's saying he stubbed his fingers. How? And oh my god. <laughs> take off your shoes. Or take your shoes off. I don't know which way is the which way is the way to go. I don't know. Alright, so we're taking on Mike, and yes, he is coming out with a Mankey. I probably like I, I probably should think of just using a... what was his name? Uh a pig hammer at some point. I probably should, but I don't know. Steepface doesn't really convince me as much, and Smoke grows to level 29. And he's gonna be coming out with another Mankey. So let's just keep let's just keep it with Ultra Cycle right here. And well, let's go straight for a Psychic Attack again. And if you guys want to know the story behind these two gems in Saffron City, it was said that Saffron City used to be a fighting type uh, fighting type city until you know the Psychic type people came along and you know mopped the floor with them. That right there ended up in a bet or a bet on who keeps their status as a Pokemon gym. And that's what happened. Type this type advantage, type disadvantage, it kinda messed them up, and so now it's called these now the fighting dojo is the fighting dojo, while the Saffron City gym keeps his status as a gym, and well look at that. Primate defeated, tornado, kicking butt, taking names, and Mike has been defeated, he's like a give up. Yes you do. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and start off with Tornado first because going into this battle, this guy has two Pokemon that you kind of need to keep an eye out for. And he's looking. Grunt! I am the Karate Master! I am the leader here! You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy! Huh. Oh wow. So we are literally in Cobra Kai right now. And here we have Koichi. And he is going to be coming out with his Hitmonlee. And let's go with Tornado. Him on Lee is the Kicking Fiend. And, well, using Foresight won't do anything, but here comes the Fly Attack. And that defeats Him on Lee right there. Oh my god. And Smoke mooching off everything. Let's continue on right here. Let's go with Tornado. Here comes Hitmonchan, a Pokemon that can, that can defeat Gengar with moves such as Ice Punch. Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, all those punches. And just like that, we have defeated him on Chan. And, well, look at that. Getting some points. Koichi's defeat. He's like, whoa, oh, beaten. Yes, you are beaten, homeboy. Okay, so if you talk to him, he's like, indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Okay, so as you guys can see, we got two choices, both in Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Now, if you, since you guys are playing Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can trade for one or for one for the other. But later on in this adventure, there will be a daycare where you can actually get all three of them at the same time by just breeding. So since I, you know, off screen I was actually playing Leaf Green, I did get myself Hitmonlee which is the hard kicking Pokemon. I'm gonna go with the opposite right here with Hitmonchan. 
And that way, I can trade them back and forth, and then after that, just go for one more, which would be hit on top later on. So, that was that right there in the fighting gym. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, switch up a few of them, so I can get ready for the Pokemon gym right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so we're ready to go, and uh, the only switch that I made was... I switched up, let's see, who was, oh yeah, I switched up Ultra Psycho for Terramon right here because Terramon does have a move that can actually help us out going into this battle right here. As you guys can see, it's both a rock and ground type Pokemon. Two episodes ago when we were in Fuchsia City, I did trade for it, trade back and forth for it so I can evolve into a full Golem right here. And, as you guys can probably tell, it has the Quick Claw. It's not very speedy, but its defense, its physical defense is right there. Its special defense, not all that good. But if I do get off a self-destruct on somebody, on a Pokemon such as Alakazam, since it's weak with physicality and all that stuff, then it can help me out, especially with its rollout attack. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to be going with Shocker, since it does have an Electric-type attack and Bug-type attack. And, yep, here we go. Yo, champion of making. Sabrina's Pokemon are use psychic power instead of force. Fighting Pokemon are especially weak against psychic Pokemon. They'll get destroyed before they can even aim a punch. That is so true. Hence the whole story of the last thing. Alright, so let's go right ahead and start battling everybody, as you guys already know. Since these guys are not that important, we're going to speed it up just a tad bit. That way we can get to Sabrina. As you guys can see, it does have... Uh, well, she does have psychics in her team or on her in her gym. So we're gonna go with shockwaves all the way smoke grows to level 30 and Yes, yeah, smoke is gaining some points that way it can actually battle some of these uh, these Pokemon Since it does have speed it should be able to hit once in a while against these psychic type Pokemon, but remember the gasoline line right here Still are poison type Pokemon, so that is their biggest def uh, th that is their biggest flaw right there. Kind of, kind of a big flaw when it comes to, you know, the red, blue, yellow series. That's why you know they kind of had to add dark type Pokemon to even out the whole thing. So here we are, Psychic Tyron, and he's coming out with his Mr. Mime, and well, let's go with Pin Missile. And Pin Missile again is not working, so there we go. And we have defeated this guy right here, right? No, he's coming out with a Kadabra. So let's go straight for... Let's go with a Tornado right here. Now, eventually Tornado is going to have to learn uh, Drill Peg. That will actually help it out just a little bit. So after this one, I kind of... I'm kind of hoping that it would actually... It would actually learn Drill Peg. If not, then I got a rare candy that can actually help it a little bit more. And, well, no, it didn't learn. Yes, he does not believe that. Okay. So, let's see. We can use this rare candy onto Tornado right here. And it's now at level 37, and it still doesn't learn anything. So, yeah, I probably should have read the manual on that Pokemon. So, there we go. Shocker's back to full health. And... Now we gotta go up against another Pokemon trainer. Let's see. As you guys already know, I'm... Very incompetent. I'm trying to remember all these spots right here to get to Sabrina easily. So here we go, taking on another psychic. Does our unseen power scare you? No, it doesn't. I've I've battled many of you guys before. You guys aren't scary. And well, let's go right ahead and pin missile these guys to death. There we go. Coming out with a slow poke. Shockwave, there we go. And smoke grows to level 31. And it's learning. It learns Dream Eater. Holy crap, Baskets. Okay, so we're going to go with uh, Confuse Ray right here. But later on, I'm going to have to teach it Hypnosis. That way it can actually... Yeah, that, that way it can actually use the Dream Eater uh, combination. So, here comes Mr. Mime. We're going to continue on. And... Well, as always, let's go with the Pin Missile attack right here. Super effective. And, of course, he, he's using a... a <laughs> He's using Encore, that way it hits, a, it hits him a little bit more. And just like that, he's coming out with a Cadaver. So let's go with Smoke right here. Again, Smoke... It is a very, very powerful against uh, Psychic-type Pokemon, but yet it is very, very weak against it. So that's kind of like a messed up thing right there. So let's go into the next one. I think we've already been here. 
And here we have a Chandler. So let's go right ahead and use our elemental Pokemon right here. And Sabrina is far younger than I, but she has earned my respect. You think? Alrighty, so let's go with Amanda, and she's coming out with her Ghastly. Remember, ghost type Pokemon like to mess with your stats. They are not very good with physical, or you can't hit them, but elemental attacks would actually hit them too, so just be aware of that, guys. And, well, let's see, let's go right here. And we are going towards another Chandler, so let's go right ahead and uh, see what this is all about. You and I are Battle Shell, or Pokemon Shell Battle. Okay, bring it. So here we go, Tasha wants the battle, and she's going to be coming out with her Ghastly. So let's see, Leonardo, do your thing. There we go, and Smoke grows to level 32, and we're going to continue on right here, and Surf Attack, three wins, that's how you do it right there, look at that. Alright, so let's see, who's next? Okay, so we're going back to that first guy, he's kind of getting on my goddamn nerves. Let's go right here, and yes, it's returning us to like every single spot that we've already been to, so let's see. Right here, and right here. And this will go to another channel right here, and Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. Yes. I have multiple Pokemon, so there, there, there are a lot of uh, good Pokemon right there. So here we have Chandler Stacy coming in, and here comes Surf Attack for the win. And yes, I knew it. Easy battle right there. I think that we'll, I think this is the place where it gets us to Sabrina. Hold on, because I've did this before in Red, Blue, and Yellow. I don't think it necessarily changes. And I've already been there. Let's see. Maybe right here. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, you gotta love those warp panels. You really do. And here's the last of all the trainers, so we're gonna be taking on this guy. He's like, Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for training psychics. You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. Mm-hmm. I do want to see Sabrina, but we gotta take on you. So here comes Preston, and he's gonna be coming out with his slow bro. And this is not a good idea, but guess go. Let's go with the. Uh, okay, so of course it's gonna disable us, and just like that we defeat Preston. Yes, we're feeling good, feeling great. So this must be the room that gets us to Sabrina, probably. No, not really. Okay, so why must it be so hard? There it is. Okay, so here is Sabrina. And she is going to be a difficult one because of her psychic type Pokemon. So we're going to start off. We are going to start off with Terramon first. Just because I kind of want to get off a. I kind of want to get a. Um, what was it called? Um, a rollout attack. So let's go ahead and talk to her. And, it's, and she's going to be like, I had a vision of your arrival. I've had psychic power since I, I, I was a child. It started when I when a spoon I carelessly toss bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. I love this song. Okay, so here we go, guys. Gym battle number six, going up against Sabrina. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, and she is going to be coming out with her with her good old Kadabra. And one thing that you guys should keep an eye out for is their calm mind technique. This will boost up both their special and special attack and defense. And you don't want them getting off with multiple of them because it will hurt you. And here comes a, oh yeah, a future side attack. So we're going to try and get this guy down. We're going to try and get at least three of those, uh, of those ro rollouts out. So there it is. That's one Pokemon down. And here comes Mr. Mime. Let's continue on right here. Let's take the risk right now. And here we go, barrier attack. That will half our attack. And here we go, roll out attack. This will be a little bit stronger. And just like that, a critical hit. And just like that, we, we, we get a little bit more points. And smoke grows to level 33. And she's about to use an al or a, a Venomoth. So what's gonna happen is, I'm just gonna continue on right here. 
So let's go. Venomoth, how's it going? We're going to take a rollout attack again, and this one messes Venomoth off. And I think there's going to be a future sight attack right here. And look at this. Terramon has grown to level 31. And Alakazam is going to come on. But right here, we're going to be taking a future sight attack. And this one hits us pretty hard right there. Nearly beats us. And here comes another rollout attack. And it's all maxed out. And just like that, Alakazam has been defeated by Terramon. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, Terramon kicked some ass. Look at that. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. Wow. Terramon swept everyone. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing it out. So... The Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait! Please take this TM with you. And here we have the TM04. This is, or, yeah, this is Calm Mind, so Psychic Power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has Psychic Power, people just don't realize it. TM04 is Calm Mind. It makes the Pokemon concentrate the, to raise both its special attack and special defense. Okay, so... Whoo, okay, so my strategy was completely off. It really was. I was thinking of using Explosion or Self-Destruct on Alakazam just to win this thing, but... I guess, I guess we still had one more rollout in us. And, well, obviously our defense kind of, you know, saved us. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Alrighty, so... Let's see. Let's see. What else is there to do? And we are at the very top right here, so I think we should go right here. And yes, we are at the very end. Oh my god. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Psychic power, huh? If I had that, I'd make a bundle at the slots. Yes. Anywho... We're feeling a little heavy, guys. Just a little heavy. Let's go ahead and take a look at our badges. Look at that. Six badges in all. And 84 Pokemon total. We are making jumps. We are making moves, guys. So, there are quite a few things that I kind of want to take care of before we finish off this episode. Um, let's see. Now that we can surf... There are well there's there's there are areas that we can actually surf on to actually get some items I think. Hold on. I'm trying to think of them. There are two, three, 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 four. No. There's there's four places that we can go to. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, is we're gonna surf on a few places just to get some few like a few extra items. And then we'll be finishing off our walkthrough or our episode right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, first things first, it's this. If we go to Saf or Celadon City and cross this, we're going to be able to meet this guy. And I'm kind of wondering, like, where, where is it? Like, how does he enter his house? So if you talk to this guy, he's like, hello there. I've seen you about, but I never had a chance to chat. It must be good luck that brought us together, finally. I'd be, I'd be, or I'd like to celebrate by teaching you the move Soft Boil. Now, this move right here can only be learned by, well... It can learn, but it can be learned by two Pokemon, and that is Mew and Chansey. And well, we kind of don't have Chansey with us, so that's going to be a big no-no right there. Uh, funny thing about that is that we actually did capture a Chansey in the Safari Zone by luck, so we might be able to do that at some point. So we're going to skip ahead to the next thing that we need to do right here, guys. That way, you guys can you know get done with this episode right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So if you go into this house right here. You're going to be able to meet this family. My daughter is so self-centered. She has a she has but a few friends. Wow. And if you talk to this guy, my daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname copycat around here. Yeah, think. Now, if you talk to her, there she is. Oh, wow, a Pokédoll. For me? Thank you. You know what? I can teach the move mimic. 
So if you give her a Poké doll that you can buy over at the Celadon City Department Store, she will be able to teach you the move Mimic, and this can only be learned one time. Obviously, a whole bunch of people can, uh, a whole bunch of Pokémon can learn that, but I'm not going to teach it to nobody right now. And uh, let's see, did she take my Poké doll right here? Yeah, no, she hasn't taken my Poké doll, but that is how you get the Mimic technique right there. Let's go on to the next place that we need. We actually need to get that way, you know, we finish off this episode. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are in Route 12. And what you need to do now is you can actually surf and grab this item that's been looking at us for quite some time. And that is the TM48 skill swap. That right there can actually copy or can swap the skills like levitate to intimidate and vice versa and all that stuff. And I think that's pretty much it right there. We are going to be going back to Celadon City. So we can go back to Fuchsia City through the cycling road. So that this has been our episode right here, guys. Um, it's been a fun one. I, again, wasn't expecting us to win the way we did against, uh, against uh, um, Sabrina. But, you know, it, it, you know, it's like surprises are pretty much everything right there. So, anywho, in the next episode, guys, we will be going through the cycling road back to Fuchsia City. And then from there, we're going to be taking... Uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to be taking small detours or something? No, 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 no. Actually, we're going to be going to Cinnabar Island. But I think we're going to be we're gonna be hitting Sif, uh, Seafoam Islands first. I don't know, it depends. I think we're going to be training some Pokemon here, too, so... I don't know, I'm rambling on. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel... Yes, the heart button's right there. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yes! Don't forget about this weekend, guys, because we got some brand new walkthroughs coming out, such as Pokemon Stadium and, po and then another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. And, uh, yeah! So, I don't know what else to say. I really don't. <laughs> I'm just rambling on. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.